The attention span of a two-year-old with a mean of eight minutes and a standard deviation of two minutes. We randomly examined 60 two-year-olds. Number one, x equals what? The underlying distribution is what? The underlying distribution, the attention span of a two-year-old. That's what's of interest in this problem. So it's the attention span of a two-year-old. It's the attention span. And I'm going to emphasize the fact that we're talking about a single one two-year-old. And this is in minutes. X bar, the distribution of the averages, is the average attention span of 60 two-year-olds. That's the difference between the underlying distribution and the distribution of the averages. The distribution of the averages is an average and there's a sample size to do it. Tile for the average attention of the average attention span, so we're being asked about X bar. And we need to know what the what distribution that fits. Uh, so, we don't know anything about the underlying distribution. It's, it follows an unknown distribution, but that's okay. The central limit theorem says that uh, we don't have to know that. We just need to trust that 60 is big so that the distribution of the averages is approximately normal. So, given no other information, we have to assume that 60 is big enough. And uh, we have then have a mean of 8 equal to the mean of the underlying distribution and uh, a standard error, a standard equation um, of 2 divided by the square root of 60. Okay, and we want the first quartile. The first quartile. So that means um, we're asking for Inverse normal, mean 8, standard deviation 2, divided by the square root of 60. And first quartile means 25th percentile. So we uh, put in 0.25 and then ask GeoGebra for this number. normal with a mean of 8 standard deviation 2 divided by the square root of 60 and probability 0.25 oh, whoops Squit. square root there we go uh, square root 60 Okay, better. 7.8258. 7.8258 minutes.